Hey guys, Riley here with Dark Arrow. Today's video is all about the honeycomb sandwich panels that we manufacture in-house to use in the Dark Arrow 1 airframe. These are a great material to use in aircraft structures. I'm gonna talk about what they are, where we use them in the Dark Arrow 1 airframe, some of the advantages of using this material, and also talk about why we decided to make our own. Let's get into it. What is a honeycomb sandwich panel? Basically, it's a composite structure that's made up of a core material that's faced on both sides with skins. In our case, we're using a half inch aluminum honeycomb core. And then for the skins, we have carbon fiber skins. So the objective of putting a core material into this panel is that we're trying to strengthen and stiffen it up. I'm trying to bend this right now and it's not budging. You probably can't tell how much force I'm putting into this, but uh, as a better demonstration of the strength and stiffness of the panel, I'm actually standing on a sample of this right now. So these two samples are identical, same weight, same footprint. Uh, not the most scientific test, but I think you get the idea that uh, it's strong enough and stiff enough to support my weight without failure. So let's talk more about this magical core material that's in the sandwich panel structure. So this is a sample of the aluminum honeycomb core. You can see that hexagonal structure. So we use this in between the skin and the honeycomb sandwich panel. What if we didn't have that core in there though? What would that look like? Well, I have a sample of carbon fiber here with no core. So this is six plies of carbon fiber laminated together and you can see it's pretty flexible. The sample that I started out with is actually four plies total, so two plies in each skin. And as you saw, it's incredibly stiff. Just for comparison's sake, I have a section of aluminum here. This is 32 thousandths of an inch thick. And it's the same weight, same area as my original sample, but again, uh, incredibly flexible compared to the really stiff carbon fiber panel. You may not realize it, but you probably already deal with sandwich panel structures on a day-to-day -day basis. Cardboard's a really good example. so. Cardboard doesn't use a honeycomb core, uh, instead it's a corrugated core, but objective is still the same, We're trying to stiffen it up. If you peel one of the skins off of a piece of cardboard, you can see it's really flexible, but with the core in place, it's very stiff. Now that we're all on the same page about what a honeycomb sandwich panel is, let's talk about where we use this material in the Dark Arrow 1 airframe. So basically, we use this to make the ribs and shear webs in the wing and tail of the Dark Arrow 1. And then we also use it to make the fuselage bulkheads inside the fuselage. We fabricate four foot by eight foot panels of this material, and then we use a CNC router to cut it up into smaller components. Those components get assembled into an internal skeleton that supports the skins of the Dark Arrow 1 airframe. Why are we using this as a building material? What are some of the advantages? Well, you already saw the great strength and stiffness of this material. That's obviously important in an aircraft, but there's some other advantages that aren't quite as obvious. The big one is manufacturability. So when we make a bulk panel of this material and then we use a CNC machine to cut it up, that sort of automates some of the manufacturing process. The alternative would be to mold individual ribs and shear webs and bulkheads and then cut them out individually. That would be a lot of labor. Instead, when we make it in a bulk panel and CNC cut it out, we're allowing a machine to do that work for us. The other advantage that we get by using this material is design flexibility. Say we want to change the design or optimize it further or maybe add a lightning hole to one of the bulkheads. That's a very easy change to make by just simply updating the machining tool paths. The alternative would be to make a new mold which would be costly and labor intensive. So we'd rather just simply update the machining tool paths. One other advantage related to the design flexibility is uh, folding panels. So this is kind of a cool little trick you can do where you cut a slot in one of the skins of the carbon fiber structure. Uh, with that technique, we're able to fold up and create different shapes that aren't just flat panels. So we use this technique in the armrests of the Dark Air One as well as the wheel wells and baggage compartments. Cool little trick that you can do with panels. The other advantage I wanna highlight is quality control. When we cut all these parts from a single bulk panel, the parts come out more uniform and they have the same mechanical properties. The alternative would be to make each part individually on its own dedicated mold. This would potentially introduce more sources for error and variation in the parts. In order to achieve these benefits, we had to get a hold of some honeycomb sandwich panels. 
So we started off by going on the market and trying to buy some panels. Let's take a look at samples of the panels that we bought. This is sample number one that we got from a panel manufacturer. So this one has a quarter inch aramid core and then a carbon fiber skin. This one's actually made from prepreg carbon fiber, which is a little bit different than our process. Uh, one issue that we had with this panel was that it's not high enough temperature capability. And the other issue is it's built like a tank. It has uh, way too many laminations of carbon fiber in the skin, so it's a little bit overkill for our application. So we didn't end up using this panel. This is sample number two that we got from a panel manufacturer. Uh, the most obvious trait of this one is the really nice surface finish. This is a quarter inch aramid core. This panel is a little bit closer to what we're looking for in terms of the strength. The issue that we had was this is not high enough temperature capability and this clear coat that got sprayed on here to make it look really nice is not really good for our application. This is extra weight and it's difficult to bond to. We would have had to sand this up a bunch to bond to it so we didn't end up going with this panel. This is sample number three that we got from a panel manufacturer. This one's made from a prepreg carbon fiber skin and then a quarter inch aramid core. Very light construction on this one, so we like that. But one issue we found is that the way that the skins are made, they're full of holes. This would have been unsuitable if we put this, say, in the fuel tank. The honeycomb cells would have just filled up with fuel and that would have become uh, dead weight. So we didn't end up using this panel. So after buying a bunch of samples on the market, we weren't successful in finding any off the shelf panels that met our needs. So we were forced into creating our own. That actually took a long time, but we eventually figured it out. The biggest characteristics that we were after were temperature capability, surface finish, quality, and then specific strength and weight properties. But we're there now. That's a high level overview of the honeycomb sandwich panels used in the Dark Arrow One aircraft. I hope you enjoyed. We'll catch you in the next video.